guys um, want to kick us off with a couple of nutrition questions because I know that nutrition is probably one of the primary concerns that are, well, through the years, it's the one that our athletes have raised the most when we've asked for topics of discussion. So um, it's obviously the one that people think about the most. Go ahead. I was thinking, I just can't remember. Is there something like, like Yeah. I can remember like the differences between the saturated fats and, and the unsaturated. Like, which ones are good, which ones are mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, basically um, there's two different kinds of fatty acids, and um, one of them has double bonds um, in the side chain, and one of them, them does not. Um, and a double bond introduces a kink in the, the chain, so um, unsaturated means there are double bonds in the, so the good ones are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so the um, <laughs> one of the things that I wanted to talk about is um, the essential fatty acids that are called omega threes, and omega threes actually have um, they have a double bond that's three carbons from the last carbon in the chain. So if you you know most of the time you're talking about a chain that's like around 18 carbons long, it, it varies. It depends on what fatty acids you're talking about. But if there's a double bond um, in, in a position that's like three carbons away from the last carbon, so then you will call it an omega-3. Um, that's an omega. Um, or sometimes it's called an N3. You may sometimes see it written that way. Um, and basically, that's because the last carbon in a fatty acid is called the omega carbon. So you count up from the, the last one down, and when you get to the position that's three away from the last one, if there's a double bond, it's called an omega-3. And the same would be true like with, oh, there's two essential fats in your diet. One of them is omega-3, and the other one is omega-6. <clears throat> um, linolenic is omega-3, and linoleic is omega-6. And you need to have both of them in your diet. And a theoretically, a really good diet would have a one-to-one -one ratio of omega-3 to omega-6. So <clears throat> omega-3 to omega-6 is, you know, like theoretically one-to-one, -one, like if you could really do a good job. But the problem right now with the American diet, the typical American diet, is this. One to thirteen, and so um, this is one of the reasons that getting enough omega threes in your diet is something that we actually have to consciously think about. And so that's actually what I was talking to the kids who are in the dorm last week. Um, I was talking with Willie and um, Michelle. Where's Shannon? She went home for the weekend. Okay, I was like, I haven't ever not seen her around. So did Morgan. Um, but I was talking with Willie and Shanna and. The typical dorm food diet doesn't have any omega threes at all, especially if you don't eat the fish, because they're like Willie's from Alaska, and so he's not used to like <coughs> not fresh fish. fish. Mm. Yeah, and so you know it's it's you hard. Don't like fish to get sticks. Enough. But so <laughs> so actually along those lines, what are our sources of omega three? Flax seeds. Okay, fatty good. Fishes. Yeah, flax. <coughs> um, fatty fish. The fattier, the better. Um, walnuts? What does that include? Walnuts. Yeah, what are the fish what, that have salmon? What are fatty well, fish as Well, honestly, any fish, yeah. any fish you yeah. eat is going to have omega-3s. Yeah, trout, trout is great. Yeah. Okay. Um, but like, you know how, like, if you, the difference between like, um, between like halibut and <coughs> say like eel, like eel's really fatty mm -hmm. and halibut's not very fatty at all because it looks like really if the, if the fish is really dry and it pulls apart really dry then it's not a very fatty fish whereas if you see a little oil on it it's a little bit fattier of a fish but I mean any fish you have any fish you have at all I mean if you can eat fish once a week and so actually Willie and Shannon I talked about just getting tuna fish in the dorm and eating some of that because at least you get some yeah, I thought it was like even salmon. yeah canned salmon 
they do have that if you like. You know, I know Gracie was thinking she liked something like, God, what was it? Where's next? <laughs> it was, <laughs> so maybe it was the canned salmon. I don't know, it was something like that. And she was, I spent time, like, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and it's a good high protein, low fat snack anyway. So it doesn't hurt to think about that, like, at least once a week. Um, there's a few other things that fit into here. Um, you know what actually I've been doing? is you can buy walnut oil and cook with walnut oil. And although um, there is like, uh, like if, you, if you tend to cook with like olive oil or uh, other veggie oils, you're gonna get some omega-3s in there. But comparatively, like if you look at the ratios between like say um, your typical olive oil and your walnut oil, there's so much more omega-3s in your uh, walnut oil. So you can even do walnut oil for cooking. Um, you know, the, the trouble comes here is in expense because walnut oil is actually really pretty expensive. But you could do something like have your corn oil and then add one tablespoon of walnut oil in with it and then you know you'd be enriching your omega-3s in there. Um, let's see, anything else that we can add to that list? And th this is, oh, actually there is one, uh, a couple other important ones uh, to many of you guys. wild game um, because the problem with our diet being so high in omega-6s and so low in omega-3s um, is that we tend to eat grass or corn-fed beef and corn-fed beef has a really high ratio <coughs> of omega-6s in it um, and so if you eat wild game or if you eat um, grass-fed beef so Grass-fed anything, because like it's one of those things. Like, God it goes back to what your mom used to tell you. You know, you are what you eat eats. <laughs> That's right. Because so if you if what you eat eats grass, you're gonna get the right ratio. So what else then? Buffalo. Bison. Yeah. Mm. Is there an E on there? Buffalo. No. No. <laughs> That's kind of like one of those potato. Buffalo. <laughs> that was the old, once I had an old joke. Who was the vice president that misspoke? Dan, Dan Quayle. Dan Quayle. Yeah. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it a, now. Um, like a <laughs> elementary school. Yeah. <laughs> like the fifth grader corrected. It was like, there's no E at the end. Yeah. And Dan exactly. Quayle was like, yes, there is. Yeah. <laughs> there were other things. So those are a few things. Go ahead, Eric. actually a pretty co complex biochemistry behind that, but it has to do with what, okay, so the reason we need omega-3s is because of what we synthesize from them, and so if you, if you eat fish, you get the type of omega-3 that's more easily synthesized. It's a better precursor metabolite to the later on down molecules, and so fish is, is better than some of the other sources because of the type of omega-3 that it has, and so Yes, and, and if you guys are interested, one of my honors students did her senior thesis on omega-3s, and so it's like a 30-page document of it, and she did a phenomenal job. I bet you would like to read that, actually. So let me know, and I'll, sh I'll shoot it to you sometime, because it's, it's, really, it's really well done, and it's not like over your head. It, it, you'll love it, you'll really enjoy it. So, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. What about um, just like omega-3, like, supplements are like fish oil. Yeah, exactly. I mean, here's the thing. If you know you're not getting those, you should probably supplement. I mean, it's like, I, it, ideally, I want to tell you guys to like just put it in your diet. But on the other hand, I know like you guys are not able to get all this stuff and, and or you can't afford it. So, you know, I know the supplements can be expensive too. But if you have to, go ahead and take fish oil um, or go ahead and take a supplement. If, if you know you're not getting any of this in your diet and you hate fish or something like that, you know, you just can't or get it too down. Lazy to cook. Or yeah, yeah, whatever it is. I mean, yeah, whatever it is. Like just, it, it's still better to get them in your diet. I mean, it's better to, to eat it in food, but if you can, it's still good to get 